Hail Fire is Vladimir Nabokov's 14th novel, which was published in 1962 and is thus the first novel after Lolita. Along with the work mentioned above, it is one of his best known books and is a true virtuoso work in the field of metafiction. The book consists of a poem in four cantos entitled Pale Fire, written by the New England poet and professor John Shade, who was shot dead just before he had finished writing the thousandth line. The poem is about the tragic suicide of his daughter and is written in a truly solemn tone. The possibilities of interpretation are rather limited, but the editor of this book has a different opinion and John Shade's poetry is now exposed to his interpretive mania, resulting in annotations which are four times the length of the 999 line poem. But who is the editor of John Shade's swan song? Charles Kinbot or Charles Kinbotti uh, reveals himself to be a close friend of John Shade who has settled in the house next to John and Sibyl Shade after escaping the fictional kingdom of Zimbala. Fictional states have featured frequently in Nabokov's oeuvre Think of Terra in the beautiful novel Ada. But in the case of Kinbot, the question is, is whether Zimbala exists at all or whether Nabokov is once again presenting us with an unreliable narrator or in this case an unreliable editor. As one reads the annotations, one becomes aware not only that Kinbot grotesquely misses the heart of the poem, he only casually spills a few very distant sentences about the daughter's suicide, for example, but also that Kinbot introduces himself as the exiled king of Zimbala. After the revolution in that northern European kingdom, King Karl, the well-beloved, was able to flee, leaving his beloved Zimbala in the process. Yes, Kinbot interprets his own past from the lines of John Shade's poem and is obsessed with the idea that the poet erected a monument for his harpsichord with pale fire. Of course, pale fire can also be seen as a satire about philological mid-seats and especially in today's age, a new level of interpretation mania has opened up with fans in the music field, for example on websites like Genius.com being obsessed with a deeper meaning of the lyrics, which coincidentally correspond exactly to their own life situation. In the epilogue to the German translation, Dieter E. Zimmer calls this activity Kimbotisieren, or in English, Kimbotisizing, and nowadays one could definitely benefit from including this invented word into one's vocabulary. Now back to Kinbot's notes, another character which probably only exists in the mind of the editor is the book's somewhat intentionally overstated, over-exaggerated antagonist, the assassin Gratus, who is tasked with finding and murdering the exiled king. His search for Charles the Well-Beloved is described in depth in the notes with Kinbot thus taking on traits of an omniscient narrator and we as readers clearly questioning the nature of that assassin. Above all, we also ask ourselves why that killer would miss Kinbot from such a short distance and whether the bullet that hit John Shade was really aimed at Kinbot. Because in the book a doppelganger of John Shade was described who was involved in the underground and thus the bullet that hit John Shade would have been aimed at his double. The killer would thus be a random underground criminal and not a hitman from Zimbala. The motive of the doppelganger was already dealt with in Nabokov's early novel Despair, which was also filmed by Rainer Vera Fassbinder, although the confusion would actually take place in Pale Fire. The fact that the poem now falls into the hands of Kinbot could be pure coincidence and in a mood of mourning, John Shade's wife Sybil would have been rather indifferent to the poem's editor. Upon first reading the poem, Kinbot was dismayed that Zimbala was never mentioned in the text, but this developed an obsession that led him to read the poem again or read between the lines dozens of times. But Kinbot's words are not to be trusted the unreliable narrator has already had his say in Nabokov's novellas The Eye and Transparent Things. Whether Kinbot exists in this form is another question, because the register again raises new questions. 
thousand of theses and various reading options are now being developed for this book. But how much of it only exists in Kinbot's imagination and whether Sembala exists at all is quite questionable. Now I would like to invite all readers of the book to formulate their own thesis in this comment section and you are welcome to give examples in which other books you have been already fooled by an unreliable narrator. Above all, how did you feel about Nabokov's Pale Fire? Did you read it as a classic two-story novel or did you follow Kinbot's words in the preface and read the notes with the lines of the poem with you? Let me know and hopefully you join us again for our next essay. So thank you very much for joining me on this video and this small video essay on Pale Fire from Vladimir Nabokov. Uh, I, I really try to focus again on this YouTube channel, so most of the uh, videos w uh, will be uploaded in two languages, one in German and one here, the English translation. And in case you're interested in more video essays on, on movies or on literature or philosophy, uh, definitely uh, keep on uh, returning to this channel. I, I, I hardly try, I hope I have time. Uh, to, to make as many videos as possible and with a, a very broad range of subjects. So I hope you, uh, you like this video. If you do, definitely give it a like and maybe subscribe. And then hopefully we will see each other again. Uh, until then, have a nice day. Bye-bye.